In this video, I will show you how to prepare serial dilutions of the DNA standards and how to load your qPCR plate. Before you start, remove the DNA samples and DNA standards from the freezer and place them on ice or in the fridge to thaw. After the samples have thawed, flick the tubes and put them in a nanofuge to spin them down. Once you're done, put them in a tube rack at room temperature on the side. For the preparation of the serial dilutions from the most concentrated standard, you need 0.5 micrograms per mL of tRNA. tRNA will act as a carrier to prevent DNA standard loss from adherence to the tube walls. For the preparation of the standards, pause and see the guidelines on the screen. We are obtaining all the STH standards from Q standard and the most concentrated standard is 10 femtograms per well as we add 2 microliters of positive control in every well. Prepare 4 serial dilutions so you can have 1 atogram of target DNA at the most diluted standard. For conversion of atograms to copy numbers, also see the protocol details. Now, prepare 10-fold dilutions and use at least 10 microliters of the most concentrated standard to the new dilution. Dilutions should be prepared fresh. Studies have shown that using between 10 to 20 microliters for 10-fold dilutions work best. In every plate, we use 5 serial 10-fold dilutions of DNA standards to estimate the efficiency of the PCR run or slope per plate. Also, via linear regression, you will be able to estimate the copy numbers of your target in the unknown samples. The amplicon size of your target and the concentration of your DNA standard will affect the copy number. For more clarity, see the SOP for the qPCR.
load two microliters of DNA sample per well and use a different tube opener per sample if possible to prevent contamination or the introduction of nucleases in the DNA tubes. A 96 well plate will fit 39 DNA samples in duplicate, five serial dilutions of standard in triplicate, and the non teplic control also in triplicate. After you finish with your DNA samples, add the DNA standards in triplicate and the NTC control. I'm adding a 96 well plate template reference for convenience. Once you are done loading all the samples, seal the plate with the adhesive film using the applicator without touching too much the surface of the plate. Do not worry if there are any bubbles or drops around the edges of the wells, spinning down the plate will take care of that.
Once the plate is done spinning, it's best to cover it in foil and take it to the machine or put it in the fridge if you're doing multiple runs in a single day, but ensure the plate is not exposed to any light. See the next video of how to set up the QPCR software for the STH screening using a standard curve and read through the SOPs to put the accurate copy number in the standards for absolute quantitation. Here I'm using the Step 1 Plus software and instrument. The setup for the Quant Studio 5 or more advanced might be similar for a standard curve analysis, so please visit your manual for details and further guidance with the setup. Happy amplifications!